So, all right, so first, you're gonna make sure you, we've visualized the vessel. We found the vessel, we found the bleeder, we found the uh, origin, and then we're going to, there we go, pack the wound directly on top of the injury, right on top of the vessel, tight as we can. pressure on directly on the vessel. It may not require the whole amount of gauze, so in that case, we can take what's left of the gauze, place it on top of the wound, and then get our bandage in place. Our partner's gonna come here and help us elevate the extremity. And make sure we're twisting as we go across the top of the injury. Keep the pressure right on the wound. <coughs> and this is a compression bandage. This is not a tourniquet, it's a compression bandage to keep the bleeding controlled. Get the end, secure it in place. Of course, we can have the, the, the extremity elevated for bleeding control and reassess the patient. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was going to figure that out. Today. So now that exactly once the sure. patients, the benefit of this, when the patient's in the surgical theater, they take off the bandage. And now the packing, because we didn't put in a bunch of individual pieces, it's just one continuous piece. And you can see the bleeding has been controlled. And it comes out all in one, so the wound is now clean and ready. Procedure.